hello beauties and thank you so much for tuning in welcome back to my channel um, today I'm creating this stunning look with the living color palette I received this in my boxycharm last month and I just had to create a look this video is gonna be a voiceover I just want to try it out and see how it goes and you guys can let me know in the comments below if you like that if you don't like it um, or if you prefer to me to talk to you you know um, while doing the look um, but I just want to you know try new things and see how it works so if you want to see how I achieve this look then don't go anywhere keep on watching bye All right, guys, and I'm using the Living Color palette. And can we appreciate this palette, though, and these colors? Oh, my God. I am going to go in with my Morphe M441 brush into the color Rusty, which is that corner brown right there. Go ahead and pat the color down on your eyelids. Concentrate more on the outer V. I did my eyebrows already and my eyelids, so that is done. And I did plan my face as well. Keep blending, I'll keep patting the color down um, and we'll worry about blending in just a bit. This palette is so amazing. The pigmentation is amazing. I am in love with the colors in this palette. I can't wait to create more looks. I am gonna be dancing um, on a couple sections in the video because I was listening to salsa. So just bear with me. Now I did go into the color Rosalinda and I'm gonna put that on my outer corner using that Morphe E18 brush. You really want to put that color on the outer V and on that top line. I went back into my Morphe M441 brush just because I want to really, you know, smooth everything out. I don't want any harsh edges or anything like that. So it should be looking something like so. More blending. <laughs> And just have fun with it guys i mean the fun is all in blending and creating now i am gonna go into the color la canela and i am gonna be using the luxie 245 small shader brush that i received in boxycharm as well you guys are gonna get so tired of saying me saying boxycharm it's not even funny you want to make sure you really carve out that crease very neatly because remember whatever you do with the concealer or the eye primer is going to define the entire look. And I am using my P. Louise base um, in the color Rumor 02. If you guys want to know about my shirt which oh my god i'm so in love with that shirt that shirt i bought it in ross and the headband i bought in ross and the mirror i'm holding i bought it in ross so there you go a little haul too a little ross haul go ahead and pat down that concealer with your finger because you don't want any harsh edges you you want to really carve it out you know very neatly very nicely um, but at the end right there where I'm working right now, you want to go ahead and pat it down with your finger just to go ahead and set that. I went in with a smaller precision crease brush is also from Luxie in the number 246, which I also received in BoxyCharm. God, BoxyCharm, my God. 
I told y'all again, Foxy Charm. And let's talk about how beautiful this look is coming out. Perfection. Oh my God, can we talk about the pigmentation in the color La Canela? I mean, can we talk about it, please? Pigment all the way, baby. Oh, yes. Yes. Honey, yes. I don't know why these colors, and I say this on every video, I know, but these colors go on so much better with your finger rather than the brush. But I learned a technique, which I will share with you guys. If you do what I'm doing right now with your finger, once you go back in with the brush, you're kind of building on that color. And I am working that color into that thin crease right there, that line where I'm working right now with my MAC 242 brush. And that's really, it's so, it's very thin. It's very, um, like it doesn't move as much. So it lets me really work into that corner. And I went back into that Luxie brush because it's so small as well. And it really lets me work into that crease because with the finger, there's a lot of places you're not gonna be able to put the color in. Now I did go ahead and move into my Morphe E27 brush. And we are working that Rosalinda in the outer corner. I'm doing this so I can go ahead and not have a harsh line because you don't want to have like a straight line. You want to have precision. You want to blend it out. You want to make sure it's beautiful and that people can't tell exactly where that line is from where you carved your crease. And I went back in with that uh, Morphe E18 brush just to kind of define everything and kind of like work that color on my crease to make it a little bit darker. I did switch brushes. I went back into my Morphe M441 brush because those brushes are like the best for blending. That one and also um, my Morphe E27. Lashes, hello. So I am gonna go ahead and put my lashes on there from BoxyCharm and I'll jump right into foundation in the color 118 by Maybelline. And let me know guys if you like this look, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do really appreciate it. And I am going to go in with my Master Fix by Maybelline Setting Spray just to go ahead and work that into my foundation and use that uh, Bliss brush, which I got that one in Nordstrom Rack. Now my camera does turn off, so that's why you're going to go ahead and see this clip here. I did use my Pretty Vulgar Concealer. You guys already know that the one I received in BoxyCharm. And I did a contour and highlight my face. I'm using that Morphe G40 brush to work that into my um, under eyes and T-zone. And you really wanna make sure you blend this out as much as you can, because this is going to define pretty much your entire look. You don't want to have a white patch, um, you know, in pictures or any or in real life or anything like that. So you definitely want to blend that concealer out. I am going in with my favorite brush. You already know to contour. I received this brush in BoxyCharm and it doesn't have a name anymore. Um, I'm gonna try to find it and see. I'm sure if I go on their page, I can figure it out. I did go in with my airspun in the color translucent just to go ahead and set my under eyes so it doesn't crease up. And I am using a boxy charm brush. It was a set of two. I know I've used the other two before. I am gonna work on my lower lash line and I'm gonna go ahead and put that uh, color back in, the color rusty. I'm going to use a liner brush from Azteca. It makes such a difference when you go ahead and put color on your lower lash line, I swear. 
it takes your look from like zero to a hundred there I go dancing away I'm gonna go ahead and clean out that setting powder and I am using a Boxy charm uh, brush as well now to highlight you already know wet and wild precious petals highlighter and I am using my well, what I like to call my highlighter brush, which is the Morphe M501 brush. Ooh. Can we talk about this highlight though? Like baby girl. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, get it. Okay, some salsa steps for ya. Okay, okay. This turned into a music tutorial, dance tutorial. I am gonna go ahead and use this brush it doesn't have a name i know my mom got it for me for christmas she bought it in tj maxx i think it was it was a set of a couple um of them but it doesn't have a name so i am sorry mm, baby girl now i do hope you guys enjoyed this video i am gonna be go ahead and using Ooh, okay i see her i am gonna be using the gingerbread latte collection this is the gingerbread man Too face liquid lipstick which i love let me know in the comments below what you think about this look see you next time i just can't handle the fact that this look is so cute and the lips match my background hey. bye